hiding the ground, hiding the textures on him, and I'm going to get uh, a pretty pretty good BPR render here, which will show me the shadows that I want. Go in and adjust my uh, BPR settings so I get a nice render. And there's a render. So I, I, I dig it. Um, I'm, I'm seeing things now that if I had to just figure this thing out in my head, it would have been much more difficult. Um, you know, just subtle shadows that fall from, say, the nunchucks on his uh, on that little pocket that's holding his iPod um, you know there's stuff that I could could probably not probably I mean I know I could I could figure it out on my own it's just gonna take me longer you know and and um, by doing it this way uh, I, I get exactly what I want now one thing that I do a lot is I use the layer uh, feature on the top there to, to do multiple BPRs and then uh, and then I bake them so that I can get two BPRs on one page and I've I've done kinda I've done sheets where I've had multiples on one page and it's just fast for me so here's just another BPR that I did another angle great thing is I can do as many of these angles uh, as I want it's free it's not costing me anything and uh, I'm able to have multiple vantage points and decide the best one before I paint anything <laughs>